Bam! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tehutu. Yes, I am the guy that really believed in Plan B, that one over there, time for Plan B. Yes, because five years ago I went all into Bitcoin after selling my house, my cars, my companies, everything, and I started to travel the world with my family. Now coming to you guys from this beautiful place here. Playa de Carmen in Mexico. I have this amazing view guys of the sea like you can see yes on the rooftop terrace beautiful and um, today's video again a short video going to talk about the Bitcoin price also little, looking a little bit at Ethereum and Litecoin um, sharing one two three three other really cool charts with you that you really need to see these charts are just amazing um, and that will be the ta video of today later today i will do another family video or mindset video and of course yes today again i will walk across the beach or something but let's jump into the first really cool charts oh yeah of course also looking at the uh, bam bam profits and this new tiktok indicator the upgrade of the tiktok indicator and how i traded with that yesterday as well uh, talking too much again Didi please drink some coffee I will mm. and then it's time for plan B and for the first chart let's jump into the first chart guys over this one BAM This chart guys the four hour bitcoin chart we have been looking at this chart already for some time we are like my chart is showing you in this fifth wave this wave fifth wave should you know end somewhere around 70 to 75 8 78 k so in this region somewhere um we have been trying to follow that line then we came back to retest this line we didn't retest that bottom line again you see we broke out here and we went up and normally we should have tested this one at 56,000. at the moment on the four hour chart we can see there was a long flag i told you on the video yesterday or the day before we only take that long when we close the candle above this yellow stepping line we did close that one above the yellow stepping line we saw the bam bam here down below in the chart we saw it crossing the white line and we saw the green dot and the green area, the hills and the and the forest, <laughs> the hills and the forest, good, the grass and the hills, Didi, um, starting to increase over there. The only worry was the red line on top. So, but there were a lot of indicators to say, take that trade. I will show you which trades I took yesterday on the, um, on the trade chart a little bit later in this video. For me, Guys, I'm not freaking out. I'm always zooming out. I'm holding my Bitcoins. I still think we can see this move. Um, maybe I can show this a little bit more clear here on the bigger picture. Because in the bigger picture, we have this left shoulder, head and right shoulder. And I know this is not the best pattern um, to follow. It's not the best, su most successful pattern, uh, the head and shoulder. But in this very bullish market for me it's still a good pattern and this pattern could show me that we are going to break out if you zoom out in, in a little bit you can also see that there is this w pattern over here you know and it was here and we broke out i will draw the line so you can see what i mean we this small w pattern here we oh, okay did he, like this we broke out and we retested it now which means we could continue that trend as well so a lot of bullish stuff i think we are going to retest the 60k level again guys um let's take a look at it so this is what i i always look at this bigger picture first and then when i see this bigger picture then you know i, I make my trades of the day um so you don't see the long and the short flags on this one but you did see the lock and, and the short flags on that one and that when i see this long flag and i know the bigger picture that is how i trade um let's take a look let's go back to the bigger picture let's go and look at ethereum guys check this ethereum broke out we said at that point we could break out here or we could have an e-wave we didn't have the e-wave we broke out normally when you break out you retest this line this you know it's a four hour i don't know if we consider this as a retest maybe if we look at the one hour let's try it you can see that it is a reset ah, it's kind of tried but didn't 
But now the beautiful part in Ethereum is again, you see again this W, we broke out, we retested this area, which is a confirmation of this pattern, which is continuing of the trend. And if we would continue the trend to the target we said that we would reach because of breaking out of this huge pattern, we would be reaching 2,600 US dollar in Ethereum. That is still my target in Ethereum. 2,600 dollar should be easy reachable for Ethereum. Bitcoin chart in one hour, you know, we can even see the same. You know, we have again, bam, 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 this W. Yes, we can draw the line again. Here, trap, like this, something like this. Up, here, did you need to click? So, bop, 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 breakout, retest, continue the trend. That is what I expect. The beautiful part today is that also Litecoin finally is joining the game. Litecoin is bro it broke out, guys. Finally, you know, it is now at $234. It even touched $240. And um, yesterday it was at, let's say, I'm going to go to the four hour chart so you can see it a little bit more clear. Yesterday, guys, we were still at $200. And I told you at $200 yesterday's video, when is Litecoin going to follow? I told you Bitcoin did a e previous all time high, Ethereum did a previous all time high. Litecoin didn't yet. I gave a very clear sign that I expected that Litecoin was going. I said, I said, I still have a shitload of Litecoins. Those Litecoins now increased with thirty-four dollars. You know, that's a lot on the two hundred dollar price from yesterday. So yes, Litecoin is going to try to break this previous all-time high around three hundred and sixty US dollar as well, in my opinion. And let's go. Bam! Back to my face. It's time again for plan B and a little bit of cup of coffee. I'm talking too much again, but that's uh, what you need to get used to. <laughs> I always talk too much. It's because it's in the morning. I drink a lot of coffee. Hmm. I need the coffee. Um, the coolest part, guys, now is we are going to show you a few other really cool charts. And these charts, I just love to share these charts. I don't want to share only my TA. I want to share the TA of many more people so that you understand it's all about making up your own mind, doing your own research, do uh, D-Y-O-R, you know, that, that is what it means. But here we go. Um, the first chart we're going to look at is, let's see, um, this one. Bam. So we are now on this chart where I traded the normal way. I traded with the leverage. You can see I traded with 500 US dollar at a leverage of 10. And we converted 500 US dollar to almost 700 US dollar. We did this in three trades. The first trade was a 2.6% uh, increase. Sorry for the wind, guys. Uh, with a leverage of 10, that's 26%. Then we did a second trade that was a short, that was this one over here, that was minus 3.8%. So that's not a huge trade, but 630 to 655. And then again, we traded up uh, to a long to 697. So it was three trades making $200 extra out of the $500 really cool chart you can see on the chart why we traded guys you can see uh, when we took the trades you know because of the bam bam crossing and the Y line because of the green area increasing over there you can see the arrows just stop the video and check the arrows why we traded but yesterday I announced we had this new upgrade of the TikTok so I tried to trade with the TikTok I did a swing trade which means you just buy or sell and you buy or sell. So you sell at the top and you buy back at the bottom or you buy at the bottom and you sell at the top without leverage. I did this with making use of the automated Fibonacci level placement on the chart. This is what you now have in the TikTok. So you can see at this green arrow, we were closing a candle down below the yellow stepping line. We could see on the TikTok that there was a bear cross. We already saw the green going into red over there and then followed up by a bear cross. Second indication, the bam bam you didn't see and this one you didn't see as well if you were just trading the TikTok. You could see at that point we were around 59,240 when I took the trade and the Fibonacci level was that at that point, the zero line was at that point at this level. 
57,200. Yes, it moves with the chart. So if the chart progresses, the Fibonacci retracement progresses as well. But at that point, I thought, let's try the TikTok now with a swing trade. I sold my Bitcoins, not all of them, but 0.016 Bitcoin, which is around 1,000 US dollar of Bitcoin that I sold over there. And I entered a buy over here at 57,200. You can see that buy was filled. It is not a huge profit. I can agree on that. It's only a swing trade. But with a swing trade, you don't have the risk of losing your position. You can't be liquidated. You can have a Bitcoin that is less valuable because the Bitcoin price falls more down, but you can't be liquidated. You know, that's, that's the main advantage of swing trading. If you're a beginner, I would always advise you to try to start to swing trade and then go um, or to spot trade, swing trade, spot trade. It's the same a little bit and then go into the leverage trading, guys. So we made a 47, like you can see here in the text, a $47 profit, which is not a huge profit, but again, it is profit. And on a trade of thousand US dollar with no risk, very low risk, it's still a huge um, return on investment because tell me which bank is going to pay you $50 uh, to hold a thousand dollar on the bank account there is no bank or no other trade possible that gives you that return on investment so that's why I am a strong believer of cryptocurrency at the moment so it's a let you see if you would have done an ethereum it would also be a 10 percent you know in 12 hours nowhere in the world you can get 12 hours uh, 10 percent in 12 hours on a bank so that is why we use the TikTok and the bam bam indicator man diddy you are talking way too much again bam again back to the screen one more zip of my coffee uh, and then i will show you one more cool chart hmm. what the fuck that's the first time Ah oh, no, I thought something else. <laughs> okay, <yeah. coughs> leave it. Um, let's jump into the next chart that I want to share with you. Bam! This chart, guys. Really cool chart. Why is it a cool chart? Because you can see something very important. You see the volatility is huge at the beginning. And sorry, and then the volatility is decreasing. It's going down. It's going down. And then at the end, where this one becomes very tight, we break out. This blue line is the price. When it becomes very tight, when the volatility is decreased to the minimum amount, bam, we break out. And we don't break out a little bit, we break out, bam, hugely, man. And now again, we see the same happening. Here, huge volatility, you can see it over there. But we are going down, and we are going down. We are decreasing, which means we are reaching this point again, with a Bitcoin price over there could break out, which would be normal if we would repeat the same pattern. This is the beautiful thing about Bitcoin. You can analyze the past. You can see what happened if you look to the left on the charts. We can see when the volatility was decreasing and like getting too small, we break out and then it increases again. You see, you bam, we go up again and bam, we go up again. So we see the same over here. What is going to happen? We went down. Are we going to go bam up again? Are we going to go bam like <laughs> bam up again? That's what we are expecting. Another really cool chart is bam. This is also a really cool chart. You can see the Bitcoin cycle bottom index, bottom, bottom, bottom index. I don't know how to pronounce bottom in Dutch English, but I don't mean the ass of my wife. I, I wife, I mean the bottom of the cycle. Oh, did he? Sometimes I get tired of myself. But then again, the bottom of the cycle was over here. You can see it. And after we reached the bottom of the cycle, we can calculate how high we went. After reaching the bottom of the cycle of 2015, this is the red line, we went times 112. After the cycle of 2011, guys, so that's 11 to 2014, that, that huge bull run, we went 539 times the price now after the cycle bottom of 2000 let's say it was 2018 i think the, the, the biggest bottom this y line we went already times 18.2 are we going to go times what 100 times 500 
maybe a little bit lower here times 83 or something this is all possible you can see that the red line that went times 112 pulled back to times 18 the blue line that went times 539 pulled back to times 38 uh, 83 sorry so i think we should be uh, in my opinion we, we, we should be ending oh yeah yeah the wrong tool did he uh, sorry guys in my opinion we should be ending or in between here somewhere or um what also is possible is that we go like this we go a little bit less steep to here or maybe we end here you know it's all possible this is all possible in my opinion, but it's all higher than we are now. We are not at the end of the bull market. The end of the bull market will be um, around probably this area. There, bam, when that one was, when that one was. So we still need to go a couple of weeks, months, I think months, till we reach this area over here. And that is the beautiful thing of Bitcoin. Do I have other really cool charts? Yes, I have some other really cool charts. One more chart, the video is else going to be going too long. And it's the last chart I'm going to show you, but it's a really cool chart. And you need to understand that this chart is very, it's like a picture is telling a thousand words like bam on this chart guys you can see something really cool this is such a beautiful chart this is the yearly candles guys i'm going to pull my face to here uh, yes it's made by charles btc but i'm going to drop it here so i'm not um uh, somewhere on the chart where you can't see anything if you look i can't point on the chart at the moment but just just follow me the first green candle 2011 then you get the second green candle 2012 the third green candle 2013 then you get a bearish candle 2014 that's the four-year cycle then the new four-year cycle starts after this bearish year we get another first green candle 2015 second green candle 2016 then the third green candle 2017 bam another red candle four year cycle one bearish year then again we start building in 2019 the first green candle 2020 the second green candle 2021 this year the third green candle now if you look to the left on this chart to the left i'm going to maybe i can maybe i can uh, put my face on the point where i think you should be <laughs> looking maybe that works you know maybe i should put it bam over there so this candle on the corner now of my that is a dead candle dead candle let's see if this works I'm, I'm getting better and better this candle over there that one that was the biggest green candle of the three do you agree yes you agree of course you agree then we go to this candle that candle bam that green candle that was the biggest of the three green candles so the third green candle every time is the how do you point your finger nice <laughs> the third green candle is every time the biggest one now we arrive at today now we are going to look at bam that green candle up there is that now the biggest greenest candle of the three eh. it's not the biggest greenest candle of the three at the moment this is a yearly candle we are going to close this candle at the end of 2021 what do you expect that this candle is going to do do you think it's going to be bigger than that candle do you think it's going to be bigger than that candle yes it's the third greenest candle this candle is going to be huge it's going to be the same like that we had seen in this candle the biggest third green candle that candle the biggest green candle and after that one after this green candle over here we will probably see again a red candle this is how the market moves in four year cycles if we would not be moving like this we would go into a super cycle which may would make that green candle a big green candle and then followed up by an even bigger green candle that will go all the way to the million um, that was a lot of hopium did he today <laughs> There was a lot of opium, there was a lot of opium, but that's how I look at the charts. That is how I don't freak out, how I huddle, how I believe in plan B, because it's time for plan B, and we are going to do it together, we are going to create plan B. Um, stop talking. That was enough for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a 
thumbs up over there there mostly in the screen is over there there you give the thumbs up thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments that was everything for today i hope you enjoy your day to the fullest and always remember to zoom out on the bitcoin charts and to zoom in that life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow or later today in the family video again Bad!